everybody today? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Are I'm, you good? I'm really good. Are we all good? Yeah, I think everybody's good. Okay. So, um, we are Garnet Rose Stitchers. Yes. Garnet Rose Stitchers. I'm Jeanette. I'm Cheryl. And uh, we thank you guys for showing up for another one of our videos. I think this is number 16. Yeah. It's our actual floss tube, not like an extra video. Yes. We've had two videos technically since our last floss tube. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. It's been a while actually. Yeah. Since it's been since February that. since we had a floss tube. An actual floss tube. Yeah. So yeah. Thank you guys for showing up. It's Sunday, April 14th, 2024. I can't believe it. And as you can see, I, um, she moved, we finally moved, she's moved and here we are and I'll have to do a video tour tour once it's all finished. It's, it's not hundred percent done, but at least it's functional, which it's is really cute. She hasn't shown me all the things yet. So I'm excited. There's a tour later. Yes. I guess <laughs> there's not you, much to you, see. You guess there's not much to there's see. There's a, there's closet. Yeah. There's yeah. Those full are of things full of things and not all the things are even here. I still have about six bins of fabric at my other house that aren't even here yet. So. Well, we need to work on that. So anyway, but hey, I'm in the room and we're mm -hmm. functional and yes. the house is really nice and we feel very blessed to be here. And it's a beautiful home. It, I, got, I got a tour it, of the house. Yeah, it's really nice. It was it's kind great. of a headache to get here, but here we are. But it, it'll be so great once it's done. Mm -hmm. Like once you guys get all the things completely finalized and everything, it'll be great. Yeah. Yeah, it's so beautiful in here though. So, it's a beautiful you. home. Thank so. you. Okay, so. so well, thank you also to um, all the subscribers. I have notes. Um, <laughs> She's all, good with notes. No. I terrible. I have to have like otherwise we forget to say things. That's true. We found that out like the first two videos when we did have <laughs> notes, and then we were like, oh yeah, we didn't talk about we that. We still forget. Stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Anyways, um, yeah, so thank you to all the subscribers, all the people who have subscribed since our last videos, um, and all of the returning people who have, who continue to watch us and yeah. comment and like our videos and share our videos because that really helps us. And if you are just finding our channel, we are um, two friends that are shenanigan-filled mm -hmm. people. Yeah, we're, we're quite the pair. Yes. <laughs> We're quite the pair. And, and I have fun. And I'm put I'm put together today. Yeah, I, I tried. I don't know. Anyways, there was minimal effort, unfortunately. Like this. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> She's much better at the hair flip than I am. Yeah. <laughs> Not really. She practices. Okay. I, I do. In the mirror, I'm like <laughs> like that. She practices. Okay, so um, in our Not the Black Needle Society unboxing video, but the one before that were, when we came home from Nashville, we had a giveaway. Mm -hmm. And the giveaway was sponsored by Maggie's on Main. And we're so grateful for that. Yeah, so um, Maggie gave us this book to give away along with the threads, like the fancy floss. So Moments of Glad Grace by mm -hmm. Blackbird Designs. And it, this one has four designs, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, four. Yeah. So the, and it came with the threads for the front, the main piece the main there. there. So, and we drew a name and this is who won. Deb and Buck won. So Deb, if you could email us our email box, the email box. <laughs> our email is in the description box below. So if you want to claim your prize, Tell us your YouTube name and, um, you know, we'll get this shipped out to you. And thank you for everyone who entered. Yeah. For it, all of your participation. We really couldn't do this without you guys. Yeah. And, um, and this is why we do it is because people are asking us to. Mm -hmm. And so we really, we enjoy doing it. It's a lot of fun. Um, and we're grateful for you. Yes. So anyway. Okay. So on to more things. Whips. So, um, I do book of days. Obviously I have lots of other, oh, I don't need this anymore. Yay. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Post it. Uh, book of days. Um, and this is my March because we haven't been here since February. Right. Right. So, um, my February looked like this. I'll just show it to you just because why not? Cause it looks like a cluster, but you know, you want to see mine? It's empty. Hold on. Oh, she doesn't need yeah. I do. Uh oh, you drop I, things. Oh, see, you drop things. There you go. Oh, cute stickers. I try, but I, and then this is my March and then this yeah. is my April so Oof. far. Um, so, um, 
I just write down all the things in here just to make sure I remember what I've done. Mm -hmm. I didn't and I write. Think that's great. Yeah, I didn't write down today's things yet because um, I've only done my daily thirty, which I'll talk about. Mm -hmm. um, but I keep track of my whip go in there. Um, I have my whip go board. Here. Yeah, yours looks great. And I've completed all my goals so far. Um, and technically, one of my goals for April is complete. I just haven't marked it off on there. Um, so March numbers were, I'm looking over because this is where my notes are. New setup, so we're like. I know, where's setting. everything? What are we doing? Okay, so March numbers were 10, which was Mirabilia, and, um, and one, which was Christmas or winter hmm. was my themes. Because I'm doing something. themes, not individual projects. And so for um, my Mirabilia, I worked on mm -hmm. Bella Rose Needleworks. <laughs> it helps to know who makes them. <laughs> Literally, like and she went. I I need a bag made out of this fabric. I need it. Like, I need to have pink on it. Okay. And she's like, <laughs> okay, okay. So this is the project. It's called Virgo so by funny. Mirabilia or Nora Corbett. It's a Nora, technically a Nora Corbett pattern, but it's Nora Corbett and Mirabilia are the same person. Mm -hmm. And this is Virgo. I'm stitching this for my niece for her graduation next year. So I have a little while to work on it. Are you worried she's gonna watch and see? No, she doesn't watch my videos. Okay. And if she does, then surprise. <laughs> um, this pretty. is the fabric. It's kind of getting a little blown out. I don't have a board. Do you have a board? I do. I do have a board somewhere. Anyway, I'll find one. Um, but this is where I'm at in the center there. Um, I'm using the called for DMC, water lilies, beads, all the business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, the fabric is a 32 count Lugana. I have it. See, post it. See, post it's are <laughs> everywhere. They help. Um, a 32 count even weave Murano by Zweigart, and I over dyed it with pinks and greens and stuff and it's really pretty. Um, to make it it's a really soft pink yeah very soft and that's what i wanted mm -hmm. i didn't want it to be like loud because then it, all everything else would get lost I but it. i didn't want to do it on the boring like taupe fabric mm -mm -mm. wasted opportunity absolutely agreed. agreed so that was my first whip go for march awesome get in there your turn or do you want me to go again you can go again. Okay, okay, so here's just a little backstory. The last like six weeks have been crazy. And so I have done almost no stitching. Technically, you had a start and a finish. So I did have a start and a finish. Actually, I have a couple in here that I'll show later, but it's not whip go. Yeah. So that's why my March was very disappointing for me. It's okay. Because I didn't do any stitching in we, March. I think the only time we actually like were stitching a lot was in the airport to market, <laughs> from market and from market. Yes. That was the only time that we were like yep. actively stitching. Mm -hmm. um, and then this is the bag I have. Um, we bought this from uh, so, Screen Door and Needleworks when we were at Jennifer's first. Yeah, she is. She so this like is Snowballs for Sale by Lori Holt. I am stitching this on 10 count vintage cloth in the color burlap with called for DMC. Four strands over one. I am doing the loop start because I am not crazy. I mean, I am a little. <laughs> Depends who you talk to and what day it is. Oh, it's so cute. So this is where I'm at. That fabric is really fun. It is. I love it. Yeah. That fabric is super fun. Like, I want to do, like, a Santa. Yes. Like, you know how they do at Shepherd's Bush? The prairie schoolers? Yeah. yeah. I want to do one of those. So I just, you know. Oh, it's no. Really that needs to have to go to Shepherd's Bush? Bummer. <laughs> What a bummer. Okay, so that was my March. That's cute. And I worked on this. Um, I'm That's using... a forever lot of white. It is. But it actually was easy to, it's easy to count because the rows are the same. So each row is four, skip one, mm -hmm. stitch, skip one, mm -hmm. four. So the count You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then the next one is three. And then the next one is has like a nothing. Pattern it's almost. just literally white all the yeah. way across. So, and because of where I'm at, I'm able to count off what I've done. Mm -hmm. um, so it's worked out pretty good. I love it. I love it. So anyways, um, so that is my March whip go. Do you have anything else for March? Um, that is a whip go and or anything else. Just not, anything else. No, but I'm not. March. I didn't. Okay. 
I didn't bring all of my whips because we'd be here till next Tuesday. <laughs> because like I said, we've been here, we haven't been here since the middle of February. So, so it's like six weeks worth of stitching. More than that, because it's the middle of April. It's two months. So, yeah, almost two months. It's two months worth of stitching that... So... And I was moving, so... Yeah, and, and the, so it'd be the Cheryl show, and we all know how much we love that. We do love the Cheryl show. Just sometimes. We do. We love the Cheryl show. Okay, so... Hold on. Okay. Okay, so now we are on to April. So, April, we had a lot of things. Oh, well, actually, I have one more thing from... For March because Good. my birthday was in March. Yes, it was. So I had a birthday start and I had a, a hashtag. So all the people that joined in and celebrated my birthday with my hashtag <laughs> Share Bears B Day Sal. It was so fun. Um, I started. This was a birthday present. Mm -hmm. I'll show it in detail later. In detail. Because <laughs> it was part of my haul. So I started Spring Moon so by cool. Plum Street Samplers. And, um, oh, there, oops, my bad. Oh, no. I know. There's a pattern She's on She's got the chart on there. Oh, there's also a bad word. I got it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, here I am thinking I'm organized. And, uh, no, I'm not organized. Hey, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Yes. You want to hold it? Mm, no, I got okay. it. I got it. Okay. All right. Oh, and Jeanette got her board. I did. Trying. Yeah. So, um, this is how far I got here. You keep talking. Yeah. Here, this is how far I got. And so I think that's pretty good for me. Um, I did that for the, the moon is in, in its entirety. I did this tulip. Did that help? Mm, I don't know. It might've made it darker in here. No, oh. I don't know. I was trying to keep it less, you know, we'll oh, that, actually that's not bad. And, um, not, it's not so blown out. Yeah. Not yet. And then I, so I did. Um, so I did all of this over the course of a week. I worked That's on this really for good. seven days for my daily 30. I love it. And love it. I am stitching this 36 count. I know that much. Fox and rabbit up in the attic. Linen. I love that. I actually have some of that color. Yeah. And clearly I wadded it up on the side so that I wouldn't have to cut it until I knew I needed to cut it. Because it's like, it's one of those pieces of linen. I think I showed it in the last video where it's like frugalness has mm -hmm. happened. <laughs> and I like cut around it and stuff. So, um. Oh, I can't do that. Yeah. So that was my March. That was what I did in March. Awesome. Yeah. I, some, for some reason I have misplaced my March stitching. It's in a safe place. Well, you also mo were moving. So, and things There's are. There's a lot of stuff that's not where it's supposed to be. And when Correct. I was getting prepared for today. I had my nice neat piles and I had everything all organized and ready to go. And right. Oh, well, you know. I didn't make it. So it's whatever. Right. It's, it's okay. Fine. It's okay. Everything's fine. Next time. So um, April uh, WIPGO numbers are 18 and 21. So 18 and 21 for me is, because um, I'm doing themes, mm -hmm. is Gift from Someone and Mirabilia. Nice. So um, I haven't technically chosen my Mirabilia one yet because I kind of wait until I'm going to start it and sure. then I start it and then I grab what piece I'm doing. Absolutely. But for the Gift from Someone, I am doing, oops, I dropped that. Okay. I am doing um, a Blackbird design that was given to me by our friend Judy. She also gave me this bag as well. She made it for me. Pretty bag. Yeah. Um, it's called American Eagle. A lot of people are stitching this or have stitched this. So you all have seen this. But apparently, I don't know how to just work on things. <laughs> but I've actually gotten a, lot, a lot done, done this week. Wow. So where were we? I think I took a picture. I think I did. Yeah. So I'll post a picture of where I was before I started this week. Cause I started working on this on Monday. Awesome. And so I basically got all of this house filled in, like all of this house, except for the door. And like, I had a little bit of the white here, mm -hmm. but then the rest of it, I, I stitched and filled it. And so now I'm, mm. I'm up to the second story. It's a lot of white stitching. Yeah. And I am stitching this on 36 count linen in the color Confederate Gray by Weeks Dye Works. 
Um, I'm using a combination of DMC and over dyed threads for this stitch. Pretty. And I'm stitching one strand over two. So Love that's, it. Love it. Yeah, so that, I, I haven't worked on a, my other whip go yet because I don't know which one I'm gonna do. It's probably gonna be Virgo because I need to work on that. Oh, okay. You know, like. Okay. Get it, done. <laughs> get it done all right okay so that's that one cool. and then what do you got i have um i had a um a finish for april a start and a finish it was kind of a start and a finish for april so i worked on the seasonal sampler spring yes by little house needleworks so we should um get all of those threads out because she I that know. what so what that what this chart is is it's a chart pack Mm -hmm. So Classic Color Works will do chart packs with a free chart, and it's basically a way for them to sell threads, but that's the only way you can get the pattern, right. is if you buy the thread pack from an, an, an LNS. So it was a free, a free chart, essentially, and it came with these colors, so it was... There's already been a winter one. Yes, there was a winter one, I have the stuff for that, but I haven't started it yet. Anyway, so here is my... Um, here's the chart, and then these are the colors that, that I used. Because she swapped out for Belswa. So I took all of the colors that um, was called for. 12 grain, cherry tomato, cottage daisies, meadow green, straw hat, and weeping willow. So she swapped out for vanilla, which she did a post. I did. I have a post, a post on, on her Instagram. Instagram. But these are the but colors are the, she used. Those are the silks that I used. Aren't they delightful? And then... Here's my little guy. And it's FFO'd. And it's fully finished. I turned it into this little pillow. So cute. And I stitched it on 36 count Winter Mint by Atomic Ranch. Yeah, that was a fabric um, of the month, right? It was a fabric of the month. Um, and actually the silks were so nice to stitch with, but it turned out nice and bright, well, which I really so liked. Good. I'm just like choking. Um, <laughs> and um, I did it Two over two, so I actually used two strands of silk oh, okay. on the 36 well, count. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. So, so, oh, that's why it's so fat. It's nice and, it just Fluffy and plump. Tight. Yeah, and plump. I like it tight. Anyways, um, but yeah, that was my, my big finish for April. Awesome. And then, yeah, next. Did you have any, um, because I was going to talk about this now. Oh, okay. I've got one more for April. I have two. I have two for April. I okay. have this and then I have a, another start. Okay. So, Which one um, do you want to do? So, uh, if you have followed us for a while, you will know that I am on a modified stitch from Stash. Mm -hmm. I like how you use the word modified. Well, because it is modified. Because, um, <laughs> because I allow myself to purchase things even though I'm not like if I buy it for if I buy it this year I can't start it yet okay. so I, I'm some people who do a stitch from stash they don't buy anything or they'll buy threads that they need or well that doesn't fabric. count though but you're not buying a full right a I'm full... not kidding it up and starting it right right so um the one time that I'm allowing myself to not stitch from stash is um because Stacy Nash said so <laughs> she did so at market, so. at market, <clears throat> we were talking about our um, the party foul sal that we are hosting, and uh, the party foul hashtag is courtesy of our friend Nina who came up with it, mm -hmm. and it is using the Le Poulet pin keep, aka party foul. See, she even wrote that there for us, so that it's 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 there. She said, she said yeah. it was a thing, Stacey, um, sure. and the only reason I cheated on her. I bought a bag from So Much To Love. <laughs> but it's chickens. It's chicken. Okay, that's pretty stinking cute. I kind of had to. Yeah. So, um, sorry, I cheated on you. It's okay. Um, you don't have to buy from just me. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> I didn't have any available. You, so. you were close, so that's the only Anyways. reason. But, okay, so this is how far I am on my party foul sal. I decided to name my girl Mildred because she's sassy. And right now she's wearing a dunce cap. It has not turned into a party hat yet. <laughs> she got into a little bit of a tiff at the party. Oh. Yeah. Um, some girl was running her mouth, so she had to show her what, what was up. You okay. know, that's what happened. Because isn't that usually what happens? Mm -hmm. So Mildred I is stitched it. on um, 
36 count wean beans by Needle Bling Designs, which is the uh, call for fabric. And I am using the call for Weeks Dye Works. Love it. Yeah. And she's just so sassy. I just love her. <laughs> But I pretty much worked on this. Um, so we She's started. done. Your chicken's done. My chicken's done. Awesome. Well, I, I still have to do the little like poopy pom -pom. Thing, the pom pom. But um, she was, we started it on April Fool's Day. So it was a Monday. Mm -hmm. And then I worked on it for my daily 30 and then some like for a full week. So this awesome. is the product of a week plus like a day. That's great. Of stitching, which I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like in Nico. I, I did that. Because <laughs> normally awesome. I'm like, eh, I'm gonna get like 10 stitches in. I suck. But anyway, so that's how far I got. So love it. Your turn. Alright. So here's mine. And I um was going to stitch it on the called for wean beans, mm -hmm. but I opted to try something a little different because I fell in love with this fabric from Lap and Loops. It's called small potatoes. Well and her fabric's just so good. Her anyway. fabric is good, but I was dying, and I, I typically stitch on thirty six, but I really wanted it to be a little bigger, so I went to thirty two count, and so this is thirty two count, um, small potatoes, and as you can see, my poor little girl here, she has her little head. Let's see. So. Oh yeah, but you, little... but you, you started up here, right? I started actually no, I started in the middle. Oh, and then worked your way up, and then I worked my way up, so I have the frame of the house. Anyway. So I had to change out the color of the white mm -hmm. because it wasn't quite bright enough. It's wasn't it like whitewash mm -hmm. or something originally? Something like that. Yeah, that was the only color I changed though. Okay. And so I'm using, hold on. It's here, I promise. Yeah, I came in the shop one day and she literally had every single white thread <laughs> that we had in the store like lined up. Oh my gosh. And like on the fabric to see like which one would be good. Oh man, and I thought about like blending colors and I ended up not doing that. So anyway, so I'm using- um, Pick and Vent. Pick and That's fence. a good color. Um, yeah. by General Art. So it doesn't show up that great yet, so I apologize for that. But anyway, um, I named her Liberty because I liked the fact that this felt a little patriotic, patriotic. to me. Yeah. So, well, because it's on a lighter fabric, so it has that feel. Mm -hmm. Mine just looks like she's just at a party and it's mm -hmm. dusk and she's about And so to... I thought maybe it's, you know, 4th of July or something. Yeah, let's she's see. At a... So she's partying hard. So the name is Liberty. Liberty and Mildred. I love it. Yeah. They weren't then, fighting, were they? No, they were not fighting. Okay. No, it was, some, it was some other hen who came and was running her mouth. Shoo. You know? I have to have a talk with those girls. <laughs> oh, yeah. And this. So you guys are probably wondering what's going on here. So I have an old indus in industry. An old injury. <laughs> an old injury from when I used to dance. I, like, fell funny once. And, like, ever since then, it's been kind of... It's fine, but like this is the hand I use for everything. I use this to, you know, use my long arm and to stitch and to do everything because I'm right-handed. Well, um, if I sleep like a Velociraptor or a T-Rex and it's like curled oh. up like this and I, it aggravates it mm -hmm. and then it hurts. So, um, and I've been using, I've been stitching a lot because I'm working on the retreat piece. Yes. So. It's going to be amazing. I time's ticking on that. So Talk I'm trying to get that done. So anyway, so my, it just is, was aggravated. Like I slept on that funny and then I ignored it. And then you know how that is mm -hmm. when you're, mm -hmm. when you're older and you're like, Oh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. And then you are old now. So you like, you stand up and everything creaks. Yes, it does indeed. And my arm is doing that. Yeah. Right now. Oh, and I'm sorry. Yeah. It sucks. So it's stupid. hard to actually. I can't really cut fabric. So no. Like I have to take this off to cut fabric with. I'm actually gonna go try and find another one that's like a compression, that's like soft mm -hmm. to see if that'll help. Okay. I had one one time because I had a similar issue. It actually had like a plastic. Yeah, it's like in there. It's um, hard. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. But mine was. I don't know. And so it forced my wrist to, to kind of, yeah, mine won't, won't move like this. Mm -hmm. So like stitching, I have to do a lot of this movement <laughs> instead of using my wrist. It's fun. Which is the point of this, right? Right. You're anyway. supposed to limit your movement. Correct. So do you have any more? You have one more, I right? remembered that I actually have a whip go, um, for April and oh. I totally forgot. Cause I only did like five stitches on it. it actually counts. I did more frogging 
okay. than stitching. But well, what um, is that? so my whip goes for April were um, let's see, uh, winter and Christmas and summer. So I did not touch my summer, but I did a little bit of frogging on my winter Christmas. And that is my um, Shannon Christine. Oh no. This guy. It's okay. No, it's fine. It's oh, fine. Okay. So anyway, so I've been working on these. These are the 12 days of Christmas by um, Shannon Christine. And I had originally bought these beads to go in here. Oh, that's right. And I had to tear out the beads because they were too, they big. Were too big. Right. And so I frogged the bigger beads and I got a smaller bead to go in here. What fabric is that? I hand dyed this. Oh, myself. that's right. That's right. That's this right. This is my over dyed. It was a um, just a white opalescent. 36? 32? It was 32 and now it's more 36. Like 36. <laughs> Hence the problem with the beads. Oh. Um, so I bought what was called for in the pattern and then they didn't fit. And so I had white beads in here that I tore out and anyway, so here. Well, sometimes show. that counts, you know what I mean? Like frogging counts as stitching when you're trying to do goals because you're moving forward with yes. your goals. Yes, and so. it goes a little bit along with my haul. Hold on, that is not until later. Boy, they're up up there. There it is, okay, oh. so here it is. This is what I was looking for. So there's the chart. And so this is the 2022 Christmas Club one. And um, it's yeah. cute. So it's been really fun to stitch on. Mm -hmm. um, but when I ordered the beads, when I got the new beads, I wanted to see if those were going to work. And so I frogged what I had and stitched the new ones in, and they're a lot better. So anyway. So at least I did something. Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't a total loss. It counts. So, um,. I have a small that I need to do for um, for our retreat. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's not our retreat. It's the retreat that Maggie's on Main is doing, mm -hmm. um, Stitching on the River. So I decided to do this Honey of a Frill by Cute. Heart and Hand. And I am, it's Winter Mint, right? Winter Mint, yes, the Atomic Ranch. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, same color. So Great. 36 count Winter Mint. And I have plans. There's a reason why it's so far over because I am stitching. I'm going to stitch this twice and you'll see why in my haul. So mm. I'm actually going to keep this out so you can see what I'm talking about. All right. All right. Okay. So that's how this was one session of stitching. Cute. Um, and she calls to like stitch over the top of these brown stitches with yellow, like do an extra cross stitch on top of that. And I'm, I don't like that. So I'm probably going to do like long stitches instead. Oh, 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 oh. Because like almost like a back stitch kind of Kind of. Situation. Or like a long or like a couch. Like I might couch. Oh, okay. That was something work too. in in the center of the because it's the sunflower right mm -hmm. there. That she says. So those stitches inside the brown, like she says to stitch over the top of that. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> so um this is also a so much to love bag. Cute that I got kitties. in the same order. Kitty cats and flowers, I think is what she called it. It's so cute. Uh, but I'm stitching this on 36 count Atomic Ranch um, Winter Mint. And I said the count right, 36 count? Yeah. yeah. Um, right? No. Yeah. No? No, 32 count. No. <laughs> it looks like 36. Stitches are awfully tiny. I think it's 36. It has to be. Because I'm stitching with two strands. Well, yeah, but that's why it sticks up. It's like my... But I never do that. Oh. I don't know what this is. I have the... Okay. The rest of it is in my haul, so I'll be able to tell you later. Oh, okay. Because it's there. So that works. Okay. So that's all I have for whips and stitching. I got um, one more. Okay. You yep. Go. I got one more. So, um, <clears throat> the beginning of the month, um, Teresa Kogut released a free pattern mm -hmm. from her... Um, it wasn't a Patreon pattern. I think it was a No, it's just a freebie. Anyone. And yeah. it's called um, He Loves Us. And this is the chart. And it was a free pattern. Um, and I just loved it. And I was trying to stitch it for Easter. And time got away. And I didn't quite, I didn't quite get it done. But I do have it started. And I got pretty far. So um, it's really pretty. And I'm stitching it on this really pretty um, 
fabric called? Hold on. It says lamb's wool, but that's not the right color. Oh. Um, it's by Forbidden Fiber Co. Yeah, because I gave you the same stuff. Maybe I have the ticket. Well, I do. I have it in here because I'm so organized. Hold on. It's there. It's there. Boy, I am such a mess today. It's okay. <laughs> it's um. Life is hard right now. Bungalow by Forbidden that's Fiber it. Co. That's it's it. thirty-two um, count. Thirty-two count. Thank you, friend. I know. So, it's anyway. right here in my haul of stuff. But anyway, this will go with a little <laughs> bit of my haul that I have later because I actually know how I'm going to finish it. Cute. <gasps> mm -hmm. oh. I'll share. But yeah, this is a really sweet pattern and I love it. And so this, it, it's not showing up as purpley. Yeah, it's kind of purpley in person. It's um, like a pale. It's a little bit more purpley. A pale lavender. And so the, I, the flowers, the, um, the, the lilies are a little faded, which is actually not too bad. Once I get the rest of the little middle part in here, it'll, it'll make show more, more sense. Yeah, with so, all the green around it, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see. But yeah, I've really enjoyed doing that. I'm almost done. So um, it's got just a little bit more of the green in here for those lilies. And then I'll, that'll be finished too. I tried so hard to get it done before today and it just didn't work it out. It just didn't happen. It's okay, we still love you. It wasn't happening. So anyway. Okay, so I am I, I don't have any more whips. Nope. So I'm on to finishes now. Cool. These were also whips, but now they're finishes. So um I was working on this customer quilt. It was a custom quilt. Um my business is Star Garnet Stitchery. I'm on Instagram. Um that's really the only place that I have like an online presence besides mm -hmm. an email, which I'll it's linked below. Um but I was asked to make a quilt using this um, Henry Alexander fabric called Las Senoritas. And then this is another fabric from someone else. That's really pretty. And so these are pillow shams. They turned out so good. And the back, it's an envelope back using the Serape fabric. So you can so it, switch big, out. Yeah. yeah. Um, so they are coordinating. And really the cool. person who is going to be putting them on a white couch. Oh, they're so pretty. Um, and I will insert a picture. I didn't want to bring, because I literally brought my whole house today. She did. <laughs> so <laughs> I didn't want to bring another quilt too. So I'll insert a picture, some pictures of the finished quilt. Um, there's no pattern. It literally was like some online pattern block that I literally just put made together. It, yeah, just made it into awesome. what I wanted. Um, and so I'll be able to deliver this in May. To the person I love it um, and I quilted this myself on my long arm so I made it look like to me this looks like a marigold which is a heavily used flower in the Mexican culture mm -hmm. so you can see that there and so the quilt has this motif quilted all throughout it and it's just I hand it was 100% hand guided no regulator like all me I did all that myself it's great with, and I used a red thread to coordinate. Yeah, I love it. Looks really, really good. Yeah. So that's Fantastic. that finish. Love it. <laughs> so <clears throat> the next finish I have is, um, actually, let me show this one. It's part of my haul, but it's still a finish. Oh. So I was watching Priscilla and Chelsea. Stitching mm. with the Housewives. <laughs> and they showed their um, Blessed Beyond Measure, which was released. Yes. And I, me and the finishing thing is from Paisley and Polka Dot. So I was like, I've heard of them, but I, I've never like looked. So I went and I looked. Well, <laughs> rabbit hole was happening oh, big yeah. time. And um, then I told her and she's like, I curse you. Well, and it's, what's funny too, is I've been following them for several years on Instagram and for whatever reason, I just never like jumped. put the two and two together or whatever. Yeah. And so she brought it. I'm like, wait a minute. I recognize their stuff. That's really cute. Yeah. And I'm like, oh my word. And so then I went back onto their website and I'm like, oh dang. Yeah. So that goes along. Cause I came in to buy paint to, to finish this. So this is one of their kits. It's called Pucker Up. And this is my finished piece. It's so cute. So when they have the, they have unfinished wood pieces like for finishing cross stitch and like it's unfinished pieces, which you'll see in our haul. Mm -hmm. We both bought things. 
obviously. It was, it was bad. So, um, but this one is a kit. And so this one comes with the fabric or fabric, the, the paper mm -hmm. for, it's um, like a decoupage. Yeah. You use like, well, you used like Mod Podge, but like I cut this backwards because my son came along and was like messing with my stuff and I didn't realize it. And then I traced it backwards. Oh. So I found this one in my stash of paper. Oh, and cute. so it worked out, but like, you never yeah, know. so that's why it looks different than the picture. Oh, but never would have known. Yeah. So this will go in my, um, in my kitchen when oh, I put up really... su summer decor. See. It's so cute. Oh, it turned out really and cute. And so you paint all the pieces yourself. Um, this took me like a couple hours and the, the part that took the longest was waiting for things to dry. So when it comes and we'll show you later, um, all of this stuff is all unfinished in little wood. pieces. Yeah, unfinished. And they're wood. all unfinished. Mm -hmm. And so she painted everything and she decoupaged um, the paper onto the wood. Mm -hmm. and you have to cut it out. You got to cut it out. You trace it and then you cut it and then you, and then you put it on. Glue the, it on. Yeah. And then you actually take like a nail file and you go around the edges and it gets rid of any like imperfections in your tracing or cutting. Mm -hmm. So that way, like, you don't have any issues. So, like, if you look. Like here, you'll see that I, um, you can see where I use the file to adjust the edge and, but it's supposed it's to so look cute. kind of like farmhousey. Yeah. Yeah. Super cute. And yeah. I saw this and I told my husband, he's like, we need that. He's like, well, how much is it? And it wasn't that expensive. It was like $13. No, they're really, really reasonable. $14 for a kit. So all you have, so now. You have to have like glue and you have to have paint and stuff like that. So if you don't have those things, the initial startup process of getting these things to make them, mm -hmm. you're going to be spending some money. But like if you already have some paints, like acrylic paints, like folk art or Americana paints or whatever, like. From, and, and those are, those little bottles are only like a couple of bucks. They're not, not even. Expensive. They're like a dollar a dollar thirty. You can get I them at Hobby Lobby. Kids. You can get them at <laughs> Hobby Lobby for if, when they're on sale. You can get them for like fifty cents. Yeah, they're cheap, yeah. cheap paint. So anyway, and we have them because my kids paint. Yeah, paint, my War, too. paint yeah. Warhammer with um, their dad. So anyway, yeah, so Pucker Up. So that was one of my starts and finishes. Cute. Um, and um, the other thing that I'm really excited about, and I've shown it. So out of this book. Um, Simply Half Yards by It's Emma. I was making this quilt for my new niece who is now born and she is so cute. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's called Mirage. I like that. Quote. Out of the book. And the theme of the nursery was under the sea. So I asked my sister-in-law, I'm like, so like under the sea, like just sea creatures? And she's like, oh no, mermaids too. And all that. I'm like, oh, fun. Perfect. So fun. thing already in my immediately in my brain, mm -hmm. this slide came in my brain immediately. Mm -hmm. I was like, I must find it. And she had some. I did. It was, she's like, don't buy that when we were at Pine Needles. Like, she's like, don't buy that. I have it. I'm <laughs> like, like, oh. Three or four yards of it. Yeah. I was using for something else. It was, and... you had three yards. I bought a half yard of one fabric. No, you had four yards. Mm -hmm. You had four yards. Anyway, so I finished the quilt. And because two of them are the same colorway, it looks kind of weird when you place them. But anyway, so. Oh, then, what are you talking about? It, you'll, I'll post a picture of oh, okay. the quilt top so it doesn't look weird. But, oh, I think it looks. But this is the border. Look at how I used a is. pink grunge on the inside. And then I'll post a picture here of what the backing fabric is. I had to order it from some shop in Pennsylvania. Oh. It's super cute though. Love it. Yeah, so I actually, it's it's on its way, so I'll be able to quilt this. I'm still trying to figure out what fabric or what fabric, what thread to use, what color. I'm probably going to use a pink so it blends with yeah, the background. Yeah, it be really cute. Um, but it's so cute. I love it. Yeah. yeah. And, okay, but She's see, there's more. Because, you know, like sometimes siblings, right? Mm -hmm. Especially when there's a baby, a, a big sister and a baby sister, and big sister has been baby for however long she's been alive right and then this baby comes along and they're she's like what, two and a half she's two she's two in a couple months mm -hmm. so like and she's i mean she's their the my sister and brother-in-law's world right mm -hmm. so it's like she's only been the only one 
Mm -hmm. And so sometimes having the sibling come, it's like, oh, well, there's that rivalry. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it goes really well and everything's fine. And then other times it's not. So I wanted to make sure that big sister, because when we were in Nashville, I got, we, we went to Cracker Barrel mm -hmm. and Walmart. Cause they had a really good Walmart there. They did. I found outfits for both of them and I bought those. And then um, to go along with the quilt, hold on, let me get all the pieces. Oh. Let me get all the pieces, hold on, mm -hmm. pieces. Okay, so, oh, I didn't say, the fabric line is The Sea and Me by Stacey Itsu for Moda Fabrics. Um, you can still find it online. Um, sometimes you can find pre-cuts, but it's more like yardage because it's kind of old. Speed. It's an older one. It's like a year and a half to two years old. Okay, so there was, she always does these panels. Look and, at these little dolls. <laughs> okay, yeah, pick one. Hold on. So, look. look at how cute these are. Okay, and they all come with this little bag and they're little friends. Here, let me see this one. There you go. So they all have a bag and a this friend. Is a little lobster. Look at that guy. But see the little fin, they're wearing little, little bathing suits. Little bathing suits. So they can put their doll and they have their little. Yeah. So I'm going to give friend. big sis so and I, and I sewed it so that they can sit. Um, they have and to to here's sit. the third one. I'll show her. Put on her little fin again. So. Look at it. So, so this one was my kind of test. Like I'd never made these before. So this one's not perfect, but the, oh my gosh, she's they're, so, they're so cute. And like, what's awesome about it is like, there's two, there's three. So I'm going to send two of them to big sister mm -hmm. because it coordinates with the quilt that little sister is getting. And yes. then little sister is getting a doll also so that when she's old enough, they can play together. Yes. Right. That was my thought with that. Oh, they're so, so cute. Yeah. And they all have like baby, like coordinating bathing suits mm -hmm. underneath. Oh, they're darling. Yeah. And then, um, so this one's got. Look at how she can like sit with her little. An octopus friend. Thin. And then this is her little bag. Oh, they're so cute. Yeah. And like Great once job, I, Chanel. once I figured out the technique of stuffing the. the I bet limbs, it was probably hard. I have small fingers, so that helped. But once I figured out the, the right technique to do mm -hmm. this, it went really fast. And I was actually able to um, sew, because I did this one all in one go, just to see how it would work. That's awesome. Because um, that was the part I was a little nervous about. And I'm like, I can make quilts that are amazing. I should be able to make a doll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I was still scared, okay? No, I was like, they're uh, super cute. They turned yeah. out great. So um, big sister and little sister are getting dolls and little sister's getting a new quilt. I love it. And they're both getting outfits. I'm just waiting for the backing fabric to arrive so I can quilt this. And awesome. then I'm gonna mail everything over to them. Because, you know, I don't get to see them. You know, they live in a different state. Yeah, and makes it hard. The, where they live at, it's kind of hard to get to. So it's, it's not an easy um, travel yeah. to get there. Gotcha. So anyway. All right. Okay, so do you have any other finishes? I have one. Okay, go ahead. So this was an experiment. <laughs> and I had a gal that I met, wonderful lady, um, at Stitch West last year. Her name is Susan. And she said um, she had a quilt. I met her, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Really nice lady. Yes. Um, and she had a quilt top that she wanted me to cut up and make into a tote bag for Was her. it like a quilt that someone made or? Someone like made. I, in her family. It was something, something. like that. And I remember then, this So she had this quilt top. She said, I'm never going to finish it. Yeah. But I want to use it for something. And so if I send you the top, will you make me a tote? And I said, well, sure. I hadn't seen it. I had no idea what to expect. And so um, finally got it in the mail last month. And um, in the middle of the move, I managed to put the tote bag together. Mm -hmm. I was hoping so much to get it to her before she went to Stitch West this spring, which they're at now. Yeah. So Susan, I'm so sorry I didn't get it to you in time, but I'm gonna show off your tote because it's pretty cute. Yeah. So anyway. Has she seen a picture yet? Yes, I saw okay. a picture. So here's the tote um, that I did. And the quilted top part is this here is the part of the panel. So basically what I did is I took her quilt and I picked it apart and I used those panels to put into the top part of the tote bag. 
And then I found some coordinating fabrics that worked for that. It looks like Old Glory. It kind of does. Uh, well, this is. This is Old Glory. This isn't Old Glory? And that's Old Glory, too. Okay. Which is a Layla Boutique mm -hmm. fabric. The stuff that she used or was used in the quote, I have no idea what that was. That, yeah, that I mean, because I don't even think she knows. I I don't. Yeah. But anyway, I don't know if you can see the pocket inside. Oh, cute. But I actually took part of the panel, too, and that's what I it's used. It's one of the pockets. To make the pocket. But it wasn't quite tall enough. And so I had to add a little bit of a binding That's in there. That's really cute. That's really cute. To make that work. So I hope she's happy with it. It was a really fun project. Um, oh, you have to put the thing on it still. I do. It needs yeah. its charm. It doesn't yeah. have a charm yet. But um, anyway, Jeez. so that was a fun project. Um, it took a little figuring out because I'd never taken apart a quilt before and tried to make it work. And because it was already squares, it made it a little challenging, but... For whatever reason, it ended up being just the right width, and so it was perfect. So I was pretty happy with how that turned out. Anyway, hopefully she likes it, and um, she wants a project bag and a couple other things too, so I'm working on those to add with her tote bag, and we'll send that off. So. so I have an FFO, and this is part of my birthday haul in the sense that I have wanted I wanted I asked Maggie because she does toll painting if you don't know what toll painting is google it it's amazing I have lots of toll painting from her in my house because I love toll painting I I could probably do it if I can make that pucker up thing I could probably do it but I just you know I quilt instead you know I don't need another hobby but she knows how and she has all the patterns so I asked her to make me a stand up Frankenstein <laughs> for me to attach a stitch to and she delivered and it's amazing so um you'll I had a finish uh I don't know when I finished it it was um Haunting Household by Gwendolyn Place which is in this Just Cross Stitch magazine originally and now I think it's in a, it's its own chart you can buy it yeah, yeah. By itself. um a standalone this team so this is what it looks like <clears throat> this was my oldest whip so this is what it looks like. Um, I stitched it on 28 count Monaco that was tea coffee dyed and also had writ dye in it. And then this. Cute. <laughs> it's so tall. Yeah, he's really But tall. I wanted him to be a stand up. I wanted him to stand on the floor and look like he's holding my stitch. And he totally is. And so I was trying to figure out how to get his hands to hold it. And my husband was like, well, what if you attach everything with magnets? Mm -hmm. Then if you decide you don't want this stitch on there anymore and you want to finish it differently, you can still use this guy mm -hmm. put, to put something else on. I'm yep. just like, you're a genius. Duh. Brilliant. So, Brilliant. So they come off. I'm using um, rare earth magnets. Because they're really strong. Because they're really, really strong. And it's um, and it's the perfect like thickness of the two magnets together to look like it can fit over the top of the stitch. Yeah, like he's holding like it. Like he's holding it. Oh, that's really cute. Yeah, and Maggie I used, did a great job on that. Yeah, so um, look at how cute the yeah. colors match and everything. Yeah, she she's like, send me a picture of the stitch so I can make sure the greens aren't clashing. Mm, mm -hmm. um, yeah, she did great. And so I had the yellow fabric um, in my stash, and then I got some red Lady Dot Creates uh, Palm, and it's like I think in the color Sizzle. Mm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, and none of the threads are the correct threads in this, except for 310. Oh, and maybe, the black. <laughs> yeah, and maybe, like, the purple. I think everything else was from Stash when I started it. Cutie, turned out great. Yeah, so that is all of my finishes and awesome. everything else. So, all I have now is haul. Okay. You ready for haul? Ready for haul. Haul. <laughs> so I had a birthday, as we said. She did. I did. And um, this was one of the things that I got. Ooh, pretty. Yeah, it's a realist kit. My husband bought this, I think, off Amazon or something. Ooh, those hydrangeas, hydrangeas. are so pretty. Hydrangeas are my favorite flower. And then there's all these other ones on the back that I'm like, uh. He's like, what, you want those too? I'm like, <laughs> Uh, duh. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then Jeanette spoiled me. No. She printed this out for me. But then she also gave me 
the other part of the fabric mm -hmm. and the fancy floss mm -hmm. for this stitch. And she also got me this. <laughs> like a little stinker. Mm -hmm. This is a new uh, market release. And then I don't wanna, and then the little pin. Oh yes, because it came with a pin. You had to have a pin. Yeah, well, it didn't come with the pin, but she finishes it with the pin. And Kathy knows yes, what to do. She does. Yeah. So I got that from Jeanette, and then Jeanette also was a little stinker. <laughs> and she made me this bag. And how did we were talking in the store just randomly? And she's like, Yeah, I have that. I have that thing. I need to make all these bags, blah, blah, blah. Which, comes by the way, a, comes on a panel. Yeah, which, by the way, they're in her shop. So if you want some. I do. I have some in my shop. Yeah. And I'm making more because yeah. apparently people like them. Because they're adorable. Um, and so she's like, well, which one's your favorite? Because I like them all, you know. <laughs> I was like, oh, I love this one. Oh. Mis I love Mr. Darcy because. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Of course. It's funny. Um, my younger two. No, my oldest had scouts earlier this week. And. Um. My husband took him to scouts and the younger two were in bed. So I immediately put on the Colin Firth version of Pride and Prejudice. Oh. Because it's like a mini series, uh -huh. right? It's so good. And so I'm like on, I, I decided to just start it over. Mm -hmm. And Because I was like partway through. I was like, no, I'm going to start it over. So I can hear my son say, so what English thing is my is mom watching? <laughs> Because they're all British. Because everything yeah. I watch is English or uh -huh. British, right? Because, hello. All their accents. And, and, yeah. then, and he goes, I wonder if it's Downton Abbey. And I can hear my husband look through the window and see the TV. Nope, it's not. <laughs> it's not Downton Abbey. He knows. But anyway, so in the bag is, it, all the stuff that she got me was in the bag. Mm -hmm. I and it. then I'm trying to not show charts, but. So that is. These are really fun to make too, those bags. Yeah. It so, comes as a panel. Yeah. So I put my birthday stitch in there. And then she also included this Barton. No, that's not right. No, that's not the right one. That's Mr. Darcy's house. No, I think it's, um, I think it's uh, Elizabeth's house. Oh, okay. Whatever that one's I called right now, I can't think of it what it is. But anyways, and then, um, and it has the white all white in there. Yeah. And so, let me show the charms. Oh, the charms, yeah. Are all of the bags gonna have the charms? Most of them will have this similar charms. That one there that says Pride and Prejudice. That was because I was fancy. I It came in a three pack from um, Hobby Lobby. And so there's one that said Pride and Prejudice, one that said Emma, and one that said Sense and Sensibility, I think. I think it'll all count though. And so I think it all counts. And then this is actually like from Jane Austen's house. These were made by Riley Blake. And, and you can't get you them. You can't get them anymore. And so recently I went on a hunt and she found them all. And I, because I needed like. So good luck finding any because this one bought them all. I needed like 12 more to finish the big bags. Oh, okay. So I found a little shop in Washington called Over the Rainbow Fabrics. And I ordered, I ordered 10. They only had eight. So I'm like, just send me what you have. And yeah. I'll scrounge the last two. We'll figure it out. But yeah, anyway, so I have enough to finish all those. But that was a tough turn to find. <laughs> Do you have any haul? I have a little bit, but I'll talk about mine when you do your Paisley's, um, and, polka Paisley's and polka dots. Okay. So then um, my our friend Nina found this Hocus Pocus cross stitch kit. Oh my gosh. And I, I, you know, I looked at it. I was like, oh, this is so cute. And then I opened everything up. And it comes with enough it to really make three of the designs. It has four charts in the little book. Really? Yeah. And it has like a cute little um, black hoop. So it was like perfect size to stitch the thing. Mm -hmm. And I was like, these need to go on my tree this year, my Halloween tree. Oh. <laughs> so I might be starting these, even though it's not like I didn't buy it. It was a gift. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does that count? Part of her modified stitch from stash. Well, it's now in your stash, technically, right? But it was in my stash after. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> the so, rules are there ain't no rules uh, yeah so it has four patterns they're super cute let me get it out so you can see I don't know where she found this probably like Marshalls or oh. TJ Maxx I don't know she finds things in all the places and I'm just like what where did you find that she's like that's really know. cute yeah so it, it comes with this little book 
Oh, I love it. But I don't, I can't really show it because I, if I remember correctly, it, you can't really, oh, so like, you know, amuck, amuck, amuck. And then, you know, the cleaning supplies. Uh-huh. Oh, those are so cute. And, and then, oh, they're, they're oh, their hair. <laughs> and then I put a spell on you. I like that one. So there's enough for three, there's enough to stitch three of them. Mm-hmm. And so I think I'm gonna swap out the fabric for a different fabric and stitch all of them. That would be so cute. Because I have Hocus Pocus fabric in my stash Ooh. that I can finish them with. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Nina. <laughs> she got me other stuff too, but this was the cross stitch thing. I love it. I have really good friends, by the way. We all have really good friends. We're good friends. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is the other thing. This is what Laura got me. Oh, yes. Sorry, I had a, okay, so this is like an orc catcher, like little, you usually put this on your, um, like your sewing place, and mm -hmm. then it sets, it sets on the edge of your table, and then you put your threads or whatever in there, and this is a pin cushion. You put your pins. So you put your pins, them. and then she gave me these cute little flower pins that coordinate perfectly, and it's out of strawberry lemonade fabric. Um, it's from the Curvy Bungalow, and I think maybe on Etsy. I'm not sure. I'll look, I'll ask okay. her, and I'll link it below. But um, it has, like, it's so cute. And actually, that so... That fabric line is adorable. My sewing setup it. for, like, where I sew, I don't have anywhere to put this because the way that my table is and stuff and the way I have to have my machine. Mm. So I actually have this sitting on my windowsill. Oh, good idea. Um... And I have it for my orts for when I'm stitching because I also, my husband got me, um, a floor stand. Mm. Um, it's the gazelle two by artisan design, artisan designs or artisan design. I don't know. One has an S there's two, there's two different companies. Oh. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'll link it below so you can see, mm -hmm. but, um, he got that for me because I need a bigger stand to be able to start my, um, shadowing. Mm -hmm. So love it. Now I can start my shadowing, which I actually have more to do with that, but I'm going to wait until everything's finished to show how I'm kidding that. It's going to be amazing. So it's, gonna be it's amazing. so cute. I love it. So that was a little birthday present. Stitchy kindness. I had a lot of stitchy kindness. Okay. Do you have any haul? You just have Paisley and polka dots, right? I bought um, fabrics. Yeah, I had a couple of charts that I bought. Um, I bought fabrics. Because when... <laughs> When I had to order my beads from one, two, they three, can't stitch, travel alone. I can't just order beads. Why not? Because, I mean, you could, you know, anyway, but that's not fun. So when I ordered my beads, I came across a couple other <laughs> that I didn't really need. Mm. But, um, you had those at the store one day. Yes. And I was did. like, so nosy. I'm like, what are these? What are these? And so I came across these. They're both Shannon Christine. Cute. And they, um, teapot house and water and can house. She's got a whole series of these. And these were my two favorites, and so I picked these up because I could not resist these teapots. And I thought they'd be cute if I stitched them the same side by side. Um, and then she had these two. Um, I like patchwork. She has a new one that came out at market, and it's like stitching patchwork or something like that. And it's got like floss and stuff like that. But this one is strawberry patchwork. And I just thought they were so cute. And this one is sunflower patchwork. And I don't need any more charts, but I liked them so much. They just felt bright and summery. And you don't so, need any more charts. And those, okay. The beads just couldn't travel by no, themselves. No, it's not okay. So, so. <laughs> it's not allowed. Yeah, I'll throw them in my throw them in my stash. So I got these fabrics. Um, this blue is it's a really light blue. It's kind of blowing out a little bit. Yeah. But this is a new fabric by Fiber on a Wind called Malachite. In 32 count, I had to have That's it. That's pretty accurate. I had to have that. Um, it's just so, it's so okay. pretty. You could do so much with this. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. I don't really care. This one? Yeah, I had to have it. This one, I have to have because what? it went right in the bag where it belongs. <laughs> um, this one is called Countess. It's a super light blue. It's by Forbidden Fiber Co. And um, it is the fabric that is used for the Downton Abbey pieces. Oh, yes. And so if you remember when I showed that in previous video, um, I they were out of the 36 count when I went to go buy it. So I um, I bought 25 count Countess or something like that, some Lugana. 
Oh. But I was like, oh, I'll just swap it out for some other 36 count so they're the same size, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. But then I was like, mine. Yeah, it's perfect. So I just got that. And then I got Winter Mint, which you saw. This is a fabric of the month. Oh, that's pretty accurate. Mm -hmm. That looks good. Uh, this is by Atomic Ranch. It's 32 count. It is 32 count. I think I did that because it's, um, that's what it calls for. Probably. The, oh, the probably. honey of a frill. Yes. Oh, probably. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I think she stitches a lot of hers. Oh, 32. 32. Yeah. And then, um, we happen to have, it was hiding in. It's upside down. It's okay. Okay. Cause it's just the tag, but. Oh, so this is the 36 count Atomic Ranch Vanilla Cream, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vanilla Cream. This was the January fabric of the month. Um, and cause we get all of the counts, like every count they offer up to 46 to. count because, and it sells out almost immediately. So the fact that we still had this and it was, what happened was, is it got stuck to the underside of some other fabric. Oh. And so when you're flipping through it, you, it stuck to the other one, so oh you couldn't gosh, see it. Is. And so I actually, someone came in and like totally thrashed our whole 36 count section. It just was annihilated. So I went in and like was like putting all the colors together and making sure we had all the. It cracks know, me up when people <laughs> come in. They just take just it, like, and just like throw it, you know. And I'm like, whatever, it's fine. That's what we're there for, right? <laughs> to fix it, Job but it right? So um. I was like, get the heck out of here because I need a cream like this mm -hmm. because we were out of cream and sugar, the which, 36, yeah, which we got now, which we got, but we didn't get 36. We only got 32. Oh, of course. Yeah. Okay. Because we still had the 36 when the other stuff was ordered. Gotcha. Anyways, <laughs> I needed a cream like this because I want to stitch mother's <laughs> garden by, um, by, uh, blackbird designs. I have that stitch and I want to make it kind of like a legacy stitch of the women in my family. Ooh, that's a good idea. So like, it'll have like, you know, me, I don't have any daughters, but it'll have my sister and her daughter. So my niece on there, it'll have our mom, our grandmother, her mother, her mother's mother, that's all it. as far up as I can get, mm -hmm. um, to try and I might, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to have my kids initials on there, even though I have boys. Because it's my oh. garden, right? Mm -hmm. It's my garden that I'm adding on to. So I I haven't decided how I'm going to play this out. Because I'm also going to have my aunt on there and her daughter. Because um, there's enough places to put the initials. Mm -hmm. But I have to plan that out. But I didn't want to go through that, th that thought <laughs> process until I had fabric. Um, because the last thing I usually buy is thread. Because floss toss. Yes, of course. So anyways um all right that's all of my uh, regular kind of cross stitch haul <laughs> and then paisley's and polka dots of course of course yes so why that don't was... you show what you got jeanette well let's see um i got she got a lot of things and it was okay so i showed her again where like because i was talking about it at the store and i was buying stuff mm -hmm. and she she's Oh, that's so cute. That's so cute. I'm like, yeah. And then I leave and then I get a text message like 30 minutes later. It says, I curse you. I, I'm like, I, and I'm like, yeah, what? What? I didn't do anything. And I don't know why I hadn't really been thinking about finishes before. Cause I've been following them on Instagram. I don't know. Because you and usually just come up with your own way to finish. Sometimes, Yeah. And then, um, and I didn't realize at the time that um, Stitching with the Housewives uses a lot of yeah. her stuff for their finishes. Yeah. And when we were at market, I'm noticing all of the, like the weigh-ins. Yeah. There's a, 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 a scale. And scale and for it's the weight. Like, they're so cute. And I, you know, put two and two together. I duh. might need to actually, I love all the weigh-ins. Actually, by the way, so the cute. one that got me like zoned in on that was the Halloween one. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is it? I've been sleeping because I don't get I don't know. those yeah. ones. I don't get those emails. Maggie get, gets those emails. So I didn't even know about them because so then I felt really dumb. Because yeah. I'm like, and, and then we're in the room and we're like having um, an overload yeah. of amazingness. Anyway. Anyways. So, okay. What do so you got? I have a couple of cross stitches that I, I tried to be a little intentional with what I bought. Cause she has, so I much, was very intentional. So much cute stuff. 
And so the first one I got was her truck. Oh, I'm getting this, by the um, way. It, it's happening. It's called um, Interchangeable Truck Wood Decor. So that's what it'll look like when it's done. So it's a kit, though, and it comes mm -hmm. with the, the, uh, the paper. So this part, so this is what it looks like. It comes like this. And she's got it already pre-packaged and everything's mm -hmm. ready to go. Mm -hmm. I already mm -hmm. opened mine. And so you have to open it up, obviously. I didn't do it because I didn't want all the pieces to go over but... Um, yeah, I put mine in baggies. So then you paint it and she gives you full instructions yeah. on where, what to paint, what color to get. Mm -hmm. And okay. the great thing. All right. So we're back. So we're doing, um, so she bought the truck. So where's the other part of the truck? Oh, well, this is, this is the main part. And then I bought an accessory. Hold on. Cause this is meant to be like a monthly thing that you stick the monthly things inside and it has like a front it's got like a little pocket yeah almost. there's like a picture right so i got this one and it's called so very sweet and i i think that's june meant to be the june one i think so because july is like patriotic mm -hmm. so that's what it looks like so it comes in that cute so i haven't made i haven't finished any of them yet well you've been a little busy but um that's on my list so which i got a couple more but what you got so both of mine okay you already should <laughs> I'm not spilling. Okay, so remember how I'm stitching this, right? For mm -hmm. a small. Well, I'm stitching it twice because <laughs> I. There's a reason. Okay, so I already opened mine because I couldn't raise this. Mm -hmm. And then I put everything in a bag so I don't lose pieces. Smart. Smart. And I also need to open it to see what, what, uh, what paint. paint you need. Mm -hmm. So this is what it looks like. Oh, it's so cute. So this is gonna be the one I'm gonna give away for my small. And I'm going to put the honey of a frill. Wow. I'm gonna put honey of a frill on there. It'll fit on there perfect. And for the one for myself. Mm -hmm. That's a great idea. <laughs> It's oh, so cute. It so it's much. called um, Honey Bee House. They're so cute. Yeah. And so, it, so cute. it comes like how hers is all neatly packaged. I took mine apart. They're all shrink wrapped and. But like, if you, you can kind of see though, like, because like this one's more complicated. It has like all these pieces and they layer on top of each other. And so that's what creates the effect. Mm -hmm. So you're not mm -hmm. having to like paint in between all of those honeycombs to make it yellow you paint the main board part a color and then right. you paint the next layer a color and then the next layer a color and so on and so forth. They're so fun. So it makes it really easy to like paint mm -hmm. and you just glue all the pieces together. I love it. So that is going to be the one that I'm doing for myself. Love it. So, okay. So I opened one of mine and so I got this one for um, one of the stitches I already had. If you heard noise, we've got company. People so. coming. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. Um, this one is called Love Lives Here. And so this, oh, hold on. My bad. It's all folded together. So anyway, it's kind of hard to tell in the picture. It's got a wreath and it's this little, little white pedestal with this little house. And so I'll this, try and, I'll try and insert like pictures of what the things are from their website and I'll link them below as well. Mm -hmm. Cause they have really cute, really, really cute things on there. They, I could have spent so much money on, I know. on their shop. I, you know when you go on a website and you literally are just adding to cart and then you have to go to your cart and like filter because otherwise it's like $300. <laughs> anyway, yeah. so <gasps> good idea. It's going to go for this one. And so it kind of reminded me a little bit of a, like a crown of thorns or yeah, cute. something like that. But um, I thought that would be a really cute finish. Mm -hmm. So this was supposed to be done already, but it's not. But that's okay. But that's what this one will be for. And it comes with this little house. And it's just cute. really cute. You should make the house the color of the purple. So it's like the... So oh, coordinates. Oh, that's cute. I like that idea. Yep. I mean, I don't know who has a purple house, but... <laughs> I mean, if you do, that's awesome. Yeah, that's but. great. So anyway, um, do you have any more? No, I, I got... Okay, I, I, I have, have one more. more. Mm-hmm. And this one, it's kind of hard to tell. It's called Curly Frame. I got it for something else. I'll insert a picture. And she can insert a picture. I There's no picture on here, and so I didn't open it yet. But anyway. But their stuff is awesome. If you haven't already discovered Paisley's and Polka Dots. We are not affiliated. We spent our own money here. Yeah. <laughs> Very 
Easily. Too. Yes. I mean, it was not hard to spend money there. Holy moly. Yeah. It was like, it was a blast. like I need the um, Bless Beyond Measure. Yes. Absolutely. It's really cute. And it so, matches my kitchen. So. Uh-huh. Okay. So do we have anything else? I don't think so. Okay. So as little as I had, we actually filled quite a bit of yeah, time. Yeah. It's so. like two hours. That's of awesome. Video. Might yeah. be cut down now, but that's all right. Okay. So um, thanks for watching. Yeah. I don't know when we're going to be back. Probably in May sometime. Actually, for sure in May, there's going to be a Black Needle Society box. Yes, we'll have an unboxing. Um, Do so you have there... plans for next month? Yes. What are your plans? My plans are... Oh, yeah. <laughs> we didn't talk about plans yet. Yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> so, Whipgo. I'm going yes, to I'm gonna work on my Whipgo for this month and whatever is called for next month. Mm -hmm. In between now and then, right? Um, I plan to... So Fat Quarter Shop is hosting um, a quilt along with this Lori Holt. Oh, cute. Quilty fun book. I've had this in my stash for like a hundred years. And okay. so this is the, it starts on the 26th. Cute. So me and my friend Risa are getting together and we're going to make this together because we're both Lori Holt freaks. And it looks like I live here now. I know it does. <laughs> okay. So um, I'm planning to start that. Whether or not I actually will be able to start it it's two different things um i also signed up for a block of the month through stitch in heaven for a quote called peacemaker sampler and it's designed by pam buddha pretty so it's all reproduction fabrics so like this is the it's a block one yeah month one well no it's month one. Oh, month one. there's more than one block in a month so oh, yes yes like you can kind of see. I, I've never done one of their stitch in, the Stitch in Heaven block of the months before. And the my friend Risa, to... yeah, my friend Risa was like, it, they have really good, I mean, they're basically the headquarters for blocks of the month. Like that's mm -hmm. most of what they do. And um, this sold out already though. Oh, you might be able to find it from other stores because mm -hmm. they're not the only place that carries it, but it's called Peacemaker Sampler. I know if that quarter shop had it. Um. <laughs> I know Primitive Gatherings had it. I don't see, I don't know if they still have them though. So if you're interested in making this too, go do a start, hunt. They're starting to ship them already. So, um, so I'm going to, that's what I'm going to be working on it, between now and then is this block of the month, maybe starting the other, um, Lori Holt quilt. That's all I really have though. Okay. Um, Besides playing catch up still from yeah, I'm doing a lot of catch up and um, I've got a couple more um, bags. Um, I'm getting back into my. Uh, I had a hashtag. It was um, br so for Bella Rose. So mm -hmm. br new feature Friday. Mm -hmm. So every Friday I would release a new bag. So I'm desperately trying to get back into that. Um, this week was the Pride and Prejudice. So buy some. Um, there aren't very many left, but I have enough to make. I'm making more. Yeah. Because they were so just popular. stay tuned. Like if you if you don't see the one that you're looking for, just stay tuned or send her a message. Or message me. Yep. Um I don't do a lot of custom just because they're it's complicated. It's complicated. Mm -hmm. But um just you know, if you have questions or if you're looking for something in particular that you would like to see in the shop, just message. email me mm -hmm. and uh, let me know what you want. And um those are pretty much my plans. I've got some stitchy plans, but I gotta finish putting them together before I <laughs> Okay. <laughs> um, and all right. Well, that's all I got. But okay. So we're good then. Yes. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks so, for dropping in. Thank you guys so much. We appreciate it. Um, we always have a blast. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll see you next time. Yep. Yep. Bye. Bye.